Hello there, welcome to Conflict News 2042 uh, Complete Situation Report for you from the Middle East where fighting flared up uh, around uh, 4 to 5 hours ago in uh, the Middle East on Israeli northern and uh, southern borders. Well-coordinated rocket attacks on Israel by Palestinian fighters and Hezbollah in Lebanon today. It seems that their attacks are coordinated. Details for you in this video. And some rockets managed to hit targets today in Ashkelon at around 5 p.m. local time. Details for you. Secondly, Casualties on both sides, some uh, high profile, I wouldn't say top man, but high profile casualties on both sides. Details for you. Thirdly, Israel, uh, Egypt, Gaza, Egypt border, where uh, I reported about a strike in the last video. Israel has confirmed a strike on Rafa, close to Rafa border crossing uh, on a tunnel. So, are there tunnels on Gaza-Egypt border and through these tunnels, uh, Palestinian fighters receive weapons from Egypt? And any message from Israel telling people of Gaza to go to uh, Egypt? Fourthly, Hamas spoke about a prisoner exchange. Because Hamas has captured dozens of people, Israelis, other uh, foreigners too. And lastly, a video for you. While Israel is bombarding Gaza and Israelis have been killed too, around 1,000 killed in Hamas attack so far. Still, there are people in Israel who are opposing indiscriminate bombing of Gaza. They protested today in the heart of Israel, in the capital city of Israel. Firstly, viewers, let's start uh, from coordinated rocket attack around 5 p.m. local time on Israeli forces from Lebanon and Gaza. Uh, an hour before the strike, uh, Hamas... Military spokesperson Abu Ubaida warned residents of Ashkelon. Ashkelon is uh, uh, an Israeli city. Closest city to Gaza is Ashkelon. In northern direction from Gaza is situated Ashkelon. Hamas warned residents of Ashkelon, telling them to leave, that at 5 p.m., Ashkelon will be hit. And uh, that is what happened. At 5 p.m. exactly, Hamas, other Palestinian groups, they fired dozens of rockets from Gaza into Ashkelon. You can see uh, the video uh, on your screen showing uh, a barrage of rockets fired from Gaza towards Ashkelon. And all these rockets could not be intercepted by Israeli air defense system. Some landed uh, on targets and reportedly some casualties to in Ashkelon, though no uh, statement from the government so far, Israeli government, but reportedly some uh, rockets managed to land at targets. By the way, these uh, Palestinian rockets are fired uh, in a blind manner. I mean, uh, it's not that uh, Hamas, Islamic Jihad, they uh, want to target a particular house or particular uh, uh, flat apartment in Tel Aviv, in Ashkelon. No, they just fire rockets and they ensure that rockets land in the city. They can land uh, in civilian areas, which mostly happens. If they land, mostly they are intercepted in the air. So, Rocket firing from Hamas is also indiscriminate. Hamas has no capabilities of uh, firing uh, guided uh, 
uh, rockets with uh, precision stacking capability. Rockets fired on Ashkelon. Rockets fired on Tel Aviv, Ashdod too. On three cities of Israel, rockets were fired from Gaza at 5 p.m. local time. At the same time, Hezbollah joined. At the same time, from Lebanon, Hezbollah fired rockets. 15 rockets were fired. Four were intercepted by Israeli air defense system there on southern border, northern border. And 11 managed to penetrate the air defense systems and they landed in Israel-controlled territories. Uh, Israel says they landed in open areas. And uh, reportedly, Shalomi was hit. Shalomi is on Israel-Lebanon border. It's a small town under the administration of Israeli government. You can see Shalomi on this map. Shalomi was hit from Lebanon and uh, Hezbollah fighters today fired some guided missiles too. It's a very important development that not just rockets but anti-tank guided missiles were fired. Cornets were used by uh, Hezbollah fighters uh, to attack a tank, Israeli tank on Israel-Lebanon border. It was hit reportedly. After that, obviously, Israeli uh, military uh, launched artillery strikes. Gunship helicopters carried out attacks on Hezbollah positions on Lebanon-Israel border. Two observation posts of Hezbollah fighters were destroyed on the border, reportedly. Zahira locality was hit to in Lebanon by Israeli helicopters and drones, reportedly. This is what happened on northern border. On southern border, western border, Hamas fired. Both fired at the same time. Rockets, missiles fired at the same time. Now, uh, though since Saturday we have been seeing airstrikes on Gaza. Hundreds have been conducted so far. But still Hamas, Islamic Jihad, Popular Resistance Committees, Democratic uh, Front for uh, Liberation of Palestine, etc. All have rocket firing capability. First target of the strikes on Gaza is that uh, Palestinian groups must not be in a position to continue their rocket firing. But that capability is still intact. That we saw at 5 p.m. when three Israeli cities were hit from Gaza. It means that strikes are being conducted, but Israeli uh, uh, planes are not able to completely eliminate, to completely weaken Palestinian fighters' rocket firing capabilities. I think a measure of the success of these strikes is how uh, uh, the measure would be the capability of uh, Palestinian fighters to fire rockets. If capability is intact, it means strikes are not working. Targets are not being hit on the ground. So, uh, we are seeing uh, this, this new development that now coordinated attacks from Lebanon and Gaza on Israeli territories. Again, I would say Israel is conducting indiscriminate strikes on Gaza. A few minutes ago, uh, uh, 40, 30 minutes before the strike uh, announcement is made that people of this area leave the area or leaflets are dropped. They leave the area. Where will they go? And then it strikes. Same is happening with the uh, uh, in the case of rocket firing. A few minutes before the rocket firing, Hamas said, leave Ashkelon city. Where will people go? They cannot move out. They're going to be hit uh, outdoors too. And then uh, we saw rocket firing on Ashkelon. So basically, both sides are resorting to whatever they have. Israel stronger, better militarily. Obviously, it is in a position to inflict more damage 
on the other side on civilians too. Now, casualties on both sides, some high profile casualties. Uh, two leaders of Hamas political wing have been killed in airstrikes by Israeli forces. Zakaria Abu Muammar and Jawad Abu Shamala, two Hamas leaders, political wing leaders, not their field commanders. They were killed in Israeli attacks. On Israel side, their two officers of police have been killed. Uh, Major General Moor Shakori, head of patrolling unit, and Special Units Major Yair Peretz have been killed. It has been confirmed by Israeli police. This is the situation in terms of casualties. What about Egypt, Gaza border, Egypt-Israel border? We know that uh, Gaza only shares border with one uh, foreign country and that is uh, Egypt. Israel today confirmed a strike near Rafah and uh, it said that the strike targeted an underground tunnel on the border, Rafah border, Gaza-Egypt border and the tunnel was being used to smuggle weapons into Gaza, obviously from Egypt. And uh, Israeli military said that it has not issued any statement telling people of Gaza to move towards uh, Rafah into Egypt. Rafah is closed by the way, Rafah border crossing closed. And Israel has warned Egypt that if any truck, any vehicle has been found Moving into Gaza from Egypt, it will be hit. Now, question is, uh, but two questions. If people are injured in Gaza, uh, where will they be treated? Uh, they cannot be treated in Gaza the way uh, facilities are being hit. They cannot be taken to Israel. So, only route available for receiving medical care is through Egypt. Rafa border crossing closed. It means ambulances are not allowed. No ambulance, no medical uh, organization is allowed to enter uh, Gaza from Egypt. Why? Because these ambulances could be carrying weapons. That is what Israel believes. So Rafa border crossing closed. As said earlier in the previous video, people of Gaza are not interested in uh, being displaced. Uh, they say they'll die on their homeland. They'll fight here. They say they want is they say that Israel wants them to leave their homeland. They won't. They'll die here. And Israel says that it, it does not want them to leave uh, Gaza. They can stay there. And it is warning them. No one is warning. Uh, neither Hamas nor IDF. No one is warning civilians. Just statements uh, a few minutes before the start of attacks. That is what is happening. Uh, Egypt does not want to be part of this escalation. Egypt does not want to have uh, Palestinians on its soil. Egypt does not want uh, a strikes on its border, on its territory. That is why Rafah border crossing closed. But these Palestinian fighters are receiving weapons or they receive weapons in the past or by sea or through Egypt. These are two routes only available for these uh, people of Gaza fighters of Gaza to receive weapons. Now, fourthly, words, Hamas says no exchange of prisoners. It has made it clear that until the end of war, prison exchange will happen after the war ended. Why? Uh, we know that uh, several foreign uh, citizens are in the hands of uh, Hamas. Americans, French, Italians and others. They were taken prisoner by Hamas fighters when they entered uh, areas to the east of Gaza on Saturday. They attacked a music concert which was being organized there. These foreign nationals are in the custody of uh, Hamas fighters. They took them to Gaza to prevent air strikes. Air strikes still being conducted. Though countries of these nationals, uh, Italy, France, UK, US, Germany, Last night issued a joint statement saying they're united, they're behind Israel. But Hamas says no release, no exchange of prisoners. 
It will only happen after the war ends. So it's a way of putting pressure upon these countries. That if you are supporting Israel, keep on supporting. We are not interested in exchange of prisoners. Lastly, my salute to some Israelis who protested today in Tel Aviv. They protested against the war. They protested against indiscriminate bombardment on Gaza. They obviously the protest was disrupted by security forces. Police disrupted them. They disrupted the, uh, the protest. There were a few in number. Uh, they were beaten. Their placards were uh, torn as well. But there are still voices in Israel. There should be such voices in Palestine to in Gaza to calling for peace. That is the way for. By the way, this conflict is not just. Israel versus Palestine, no. Entire West is involved here. Entire Middle East is involved or it wants to be involved because all have their interests here. It's up to the people of Israel and Palestine to sit and decide what to do. Otherwise, they'll keep on killing each other. Foreign uh, powers want to have their agenda achieved through these wars and that is what is happening uh, in the Middle East. Thank you for watching.